Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summer Time. Today I am going to be giving you summer hairstyle glory. I first saw this hairstyle on Kim Kardashian on her Instagram. I'll pop it right here. So that's what we're doing today. I'm really excited about it because I love the hairstyle. Make sure that you thumbs up this video if you like it. I know that some of you guys thumbs up the video as soon as I post it and I am so grateful for you guys. So if that's you, then tell me in the comment section because I want to chat to you guys. Just subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my uploads and let's get straight into it. So I'm starting on wet hair. My hair is washed and conditioned. I've also got leave-in conditioner on my hair and it's all been thoroughly detangled. I'm also gonna work on my hair in sections because this could take a while and I don't want parts of my hair to dry out. So I'm actually just gonna separate my hair down the middle and we're gonna tie a whole half of it off. You guys have probably heard me whining about my pintail comb for a while because it was my favorite thing whenever I was doing hairstyles and I lost it somehow. It was like the third one that I've lost. I replaced my pintail comb with these instead, which are a kind of a two in one. So on this end, you have a really thin comb, a very, very thin comb, which kind of doubles up as a pintail because it's so thin on this end, like invisible. And obviously it has the fine pegs there. And then on this side, there are bristles, which I'm gonna use on my edges and just tidy everything up a bit. So I really love these. These are on Amazon and I'm gonna link them down below. So you guys can check them out if you want to. So let's separate the hair down the middle. And you wanna do that the whole way down. You might also wanna take a detangling brush. My hair is already detangled, but obviously as we go through this process, it's gonna get more and more tangled. So I'm just gonna use this to make sure that it doesn't. Okay, and when my hair is separated like this, now I'm just gonna go ahead and tie off one side. And then with this side, we need to separate it in half again so that we can work on the bottom half first. So I'm just looking at Kim's photos and hers definitely starts from like halfway through her forehead. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna keep it going up. And it's gonna go around back of my head like this. So I'm just gonna put this away up here. We're not using this yet. And cause I'm quite interested to see how it's gonna look afterwards when we take this out maybe. So I'm gonna put some smooth and hole pudding, but you guys don't need to do this step if you don't really want to. Although it might help just to hold the styling and give it some shine. I'm just gonna run that through my hair. And then I'm actually gonna start taking sections into squares, kind of like a grid shape. So that's what I'm gonna do right here with this. She has one in front of her ear and then one just behind her ear. And then I can't really see how it goes behind, but I'll just use my imagination for that. You might just wanna use a clip or something just to make sure this doesn't bother you while you're working on the rest. And then I like to take a brush that has this kind of bristles because I just feel like it gets the hair a lot smoother than anything else. Some edge tamer. I'll put this all around the base of the hair. So she's actually pulled hers up like this for that kind of snatched look. So when you're tying it, try not to like tie it down here or anything. It's actually tied up like this. See how it's just tied. Easy. And then you need to go to the next section. And remember the next section is just kind of tied off just behind her ear. You also bring this one there as well. So then it goes like this and it continues. So take another little tiny black hair elastic or whichever color your hair is. If you have really light hair, you'll probably want to use those see-through ones. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna do from that side for now because I'm pretty sure it joins up at the end. It'll make sense when I get there.
and this is where I think they join so I'm still gonna take a section like this but it's gonna go the whole way down to the ends of my hair now and we're gonna join the two pieces of hair together in this one like this Okay, this needs wetting down for sure. Oh, this is taking me way longer than I thought. When you bring the bottom row and the top row together at the back, really make sure that you're lifting that bottom row up to the top to meet it there. And make sure that it's nice and high and quite close to the center of your head. That's really gonna give this hairstyle that snatched look, making it look really put together, nice and high, nice and tight. Okay, this side I'm actually going to do differently, so I'm going to do the top section first, which is actually this front section right here. And we're going to do the top and the bottom ones. On this side, I decided to do things differently because I'd learned from the other side. I wanted to tie every section separately before joining them together because I felt like it just made the hairstyle more secure and made everything look a bit better overall. Okay, and then what you should have is all of these little bits like this, and now you can put them all together. So let's do the bottom two first. We can do the top two first, don't matter. It don't matter. So just join them together with another elastic band. And then, because we only did one section, now they start joining together. So that's what's gonna happen here. Okay, now let's do our edges. I mean, I kind of did a bit already, but I'm gonna do a bit more. And I'm also gonna do a little bit of a trick to fill in my hairline, because as you know, Kim K has got like the straightest hairline. She actually lasered off her edges a long time ago, like her baby hairs. Um, I didn't. So I'm just gonna fill it in and make it look thicker. Just look at Kim's edges, like they're laid to the gods. The edges are really important and you can't forget about them. So this is how I do it. I'm gonna take some of the Mark Hill Taming Polish or Perfecting Polish, same thing. And then I'm just gonna sweep that onto my edges and then I'm gonna use my edge comb. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the hairstyle. I really like it and I hope that you guys do as well. I did pick up a few tips on the way that I think will be useful to you guys. So firstly, don't tie the hair ties too tight because I actually had a couple snap. This front one snapped and I had to take this whole side out and do it all again. So don't tie them too tight. They could snap and it also makes it uncomfortable. Also, make sure that you try to separate your hair as evenly as possible and try not to have like pieces of hair that are trapping other pieces of hair and sort of going in all different directions because when you tie those, it can make it really uncomfortable. So just keep it clean, try to avoid that. Um, that's everything I wanna say about this hairstyle. It's a shame I've got nowhere to go with this because we're in quarantine. So I think I'm just gonna take a walk around the park, get my half hour a day of exercise, maybe go sit in the garden, soak up some of that sun and 
that's all that this hairstyle is gonna see tell me in the comment section what you think of this hairstyle i really like it but it's just a tad uncomfortable so i'm not sure how long i'd be able to keep it in for i'm hoping maybe at least another day we'll find out but yeah let me know thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss anything more from me give me on instagram for all of the blessings and the breakdowns because i put it all on there and i'll see you guys in the next video bye